a space shuttle while traveling at a speed of 4150 kmph with respect to the earth ejects a satellite backward weighing one fifth of the remaining mass of shuttle if the shuttle ejects the satellite at a speed of 150 kmph with respect to itself find the final velocity of the shuttle so if m not is the initial mass of the shuttle and m is the final mass then we have m not minus m by 5 equal to m so we get the mass of satellite as m by 5 which is m not by 6 and the final mass of the shuttle would be 5 m not by 6 now 4150 is the velocity of the shuttle 150 kmph is the velocity of the satellite with respect to the shuttle so shuttle would see the satellite going downwards but earth would see the satellite also going upwards and as seen by the earth the velocity of the satellite would be 4150 minus 150 upwards that is 4000 kmph upwards now for this system of shuttle and satellite we can use conservation of linear momentum in the upward direction so we have initial linear momentum as m not multiplied by 4150 then final linear momentum if v is the velocity of the shuttle finally then the final linear momentum of the shuttle would be 5 m not by 6 multiplied by v and the final linear momentum of the satellite would be m not by 6 multiplied by 4000 so when we solve this equation for v we get the final velocity of the shuttle as 4180 kmph so as expected it is more than 4000